today marks the 50th anniversary of President John F. Kennedy's assassination, and an upcoming special airing on the History Channel gives a minute-by-minute -minute account of the intense final two days of Lee Harvey Oswald's life. For Fritz, this is the final piece of evidence that he needs. Not only does he know now that Oswald owned a rifle, he's got a picture of Oswald holding the rifle, and it's the same rifle that they found on the sixth floor of the school depository building. And he puts it in front of Oswald. And Oswald looks down at it, he says, that's a fake. That's not my face. Amazing, right? And joining us now is historian and author Stephen Gillen. Welcome, Stephen. Thanks, thanks for having me. This is awesome. Stephen, this is Jada. This is the first documentary to film inside the Dallas Municipal Building and accurately portrays Oswald's interrogation inside Police Captain Fritz's actual office. What was it like to film there? Yeah, that's, you know, uh, I have a confession to make, <laughs> which I probably should not make on television, but I will. Uh, the, 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 uh, the show that airs on, on Friday night uh, on history is based on a book that I wrote, and I had written a draft of the book, which the producers were using. Uh, and then when we went, in June it was, we went to Dallas, we got access to the municipal building, first ones to get access uh, uh, there. We had it for a whole week. And when I went into the building and actually saw the way it was laid out, I had to go back and rewrite sections of my book because I based my description on on sort of standard account of what it was like, but actually the building is laid out much differently. Um, uh, so where Oswald was, where, where the, uh, the cells were and where he was interrogated. So it was fascinating to go to this place that I had written about and then to see it and realize that the image I had in my head was actually wrong. And Stephen, I have to ask too, because you know, there've been so many theories as to who actually pulled the trigger that killed President Kennedy. As an expert, you said, you know, they don't believe he acted alone. Do you think he acted alone? <laughs> I believe that Lee Harvey Oswald was the only shooter at Dealey Plaza. I believe that Lee Harvey Oswald, all the bullets that were fired at the presidential motorcade were fired from the sixth floor of the school book depository and that Lee Harvey Oswald fired all three of those bullets. So I, I accept that version. What I am troubled by is whether or not Oswald was encouraged. And, and Stephen, you bring up a good point. You say questions and most Americans still believe that we do not know who shot JFK. Will we, ever, is, know? Will we ever know <laughs> that? <laughs> well, I don't think we'll ever, I, I believe that we know who did it. I believe that the overwhelming forensic evidence proves that Lee Harvey Oswald shot JFK. What I am unsure of is the question of why and whether other people may have encouraged him to do it. But there are enough questions, enough loose ends that, uh, that uh, I don't know if we will ever know for sure, or if Americans will ever feel confident that they know the answer to that question. And 50 years from now, uh, when we're celebrating or honoring, marking the 100th anniversary, I think we will still be debating these very same questions. Well, Stephen, thank you so much for the insight. I can't wait to watch it. And Stephen's yeah. book, Lee Harvey Oswald, 48 Hours to Live, is also available. Make sure you watch the special, which is premiering tonight, okay? Do not miss it.